Many good Hoosier knows, James Naismith invented <laughs> basketball 130 years ago this December. It started with just two peach baskets mm -hmm. and an old soccer ball in Springfield, Massachusetts. That's the story. Indiana may not be where he invented the game, but as CBS 4's Chris Woodlick shows us, basketball definitely found its home in Indiana, making it the perfect place for a tournament like this. In 49 states, it's just basketball. But this is Indiana. The game may have been created in Massachusetts in 1891. When Dr. James Naismith paid a visit to the Hoosier State, he knew his great game had a home. Chris May at the Indiana Basketball Hall of Fame. You can point to 1925 when James Naismith came to our Indiana High School State Tournament and saw with his own eyes that the sport and the excitement and the interest and the passion had gone beyond anything he expected. Basketball has remained Indiana sport. And the game grew quickly across the state, through the 40s and 50s, and with the population spread out in tiny towns, attending high school basketball games became their entertainment. For a lot of years, that was what, that was the, the, the fireplace that the community gathered around, and then it was the high school basketball. So uh, in the winter, what else do you do in Indiana? You go in a gym, and I think uh, went from one generation to another. And the gyms grew. 11 of the 12 biggest high school gymnasiums reside in the Hoosier State. Countless examples are of a community wanting home court advantage, either at a sectional or regional, so they went out and raised money to build a bigger facility so that they could host it. The, the interest in the high school state tournament was so immense that they, they couldn't find facilities big enough to sell enough tickets for everyone that wanted to attend. With the game's popularity came the legends. Oscar Robertson at Crispus Attics, Larry Bird, the hick from French Lick, and the wizard himself, John Wooden. There's no better state to host March Madness, something Hoosiers have known and lived for years. Indiana always had that in his high school tournaments. You had great upsets every year, great stories. And so I think what you saw in the explosion of March Madness happened decades ago in Indiana. I've told people that to me, you can have Christmas, you can have New Year's. March is a holiday to me every year in Indiana. <laughs>